not leaning over because I'm trying to keep you off the video for real. Not to you, but because you're a minor, I'm not putting you on camera for you. Does that make sense? Her, uh, that's why I, I kind of slid my table just slightly. Okay? So, you ready? Okay. Is it on? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so now we've inflated our ball using our air pump. Okay? So, what did you predict, uh, Evelyn? What did you predict would happen? When I put this on, is it going to be less? No change or more? It's going to decrease, okay? So it'll, the, the mass will decrease. Dallin, what did you predict? I, I, uh, I predicted decrease. Decrease too, yeah, okay. Back to zero first. No, because this is what it was before I placed the air in. It's saying that it's too heavy. What should happen? It should get lighter. I thought it was increasing. It should increase, correct? No. Oh, who said no? Should it increase? Okay, but inside we should have put air in. The problem is, does my ball squish a little? Yeah. Is it totally full of air? No. no. This is where my error lies, okay? I cannot get this ball fully inflated with my air pump because as fast as I was putting air in, it was coming out. That out. So I can try to get some air back in here. I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear that little sound. I can. Okay, so we'll try to get the air back in there. Maybe you should just blow it up. Oh, if I blow it up, what's the problem? When I blow, what's going to come out of my mouth? Just like if you blow up a balloon. CO2. Spit. I'm gonna get fluids inside of this ball. If I go and blow, all of that now is a new variable. So you absolutely cannot use blowing up with your mouth. Somebody in first hour thought it was because it wasn't sanitary. No, it's because it'll throw off my measurements. I'm trying to measure just air. So that's why I'm using the air pump to measure just the air. Is that a soccer ball air pump? It could be for any ball, I think. See, it's still escaping just slightly. So when I place it on, Oh. It's giving me the measurement of 37, but that means that mine decreased. What should have happened on mine? Cole, try it on yours. So what was yours? So he's going to go back to 36.2. So get to 30, then get to 6. 6.2, that's what you were at last time, right? Oh, I think his is gonna work. So what did you increase yours? Just by like, it should be a change of maybe 0.2 or 0.3. It's right at 36.2? Um, one, two, no, you're at 0.3 now. That's three and then it'll be four and then five. So you're right at 0.3. So Cole's worked, it added 0.1 grams. What is it? He got 36.3 grams. So now on our chart, it asks us, can you look down here at this chart? It asks us to put in the mass of the inflated ball. So for mine, it should say 38.8, David. Geez. Now it asks you to take your inflated ball, subtract your deflated ball to get your change. What is my change? Zero. Zero. So put zero grams for Mrs. N's. But then for Cole's, what is 36.3 minus 36.2? One. Point one. One. One tenth of a gram. So, so decimal, yep. One G. Okay. So when I look at that data, Mine did not show a difference. Cole's changed by just 0.1 gram. Well, if I would have had a really large beach ball, 
I would have a more significant change. I only have so big of a bowl and it's kind of squishy. So if I could get more air in here, I should have a bigger change, okay? Now on the very bottom where it says making sense on page 10, it says, how would you convince someone who is absent today that air does have mass? What are three things that we could do? Show them this video. Diana, what could we do? We, we could show them the diagrams that we drew. Okay, so what was one of the demos we saw today, Brian? Say it a little bit louder. They could go watch Pirates of the Caribbean. What else could they do, Stacy? Uh, they could watch this. They could watch this video clip of the beach ball. And what else could they do? There's one more demo. Go to the website and look at Alana? Is it like they could go to the website and see like this? They could go to the website, but if they're watching this video, they probably did. What other thing did we do at the start of class? Diana? We did the ping pong ball and the oh. paper towel. The ping pong ball, ball with the paper toweling. Look, look at the picture. So they could use their ping pong ball demo from page zero. You could use page nine, 10 with the beach ball. They could look at Pirates of the Caribbean. We already have three activities that absolutely prove air has mass, don't we? So if you got this on an assessment, you would have evidence right here. These are three evidences. Okay, so page zero, Pirates of the Caribbean, and page nine, ten. Can you summarize those on the bottom of page ten, please? Yes. 